What's going on guys? This is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you that how you can run Kali Linux 2025 virtually in Windows 11 computer using the Remo Workstation Pro. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, I am assuming that you have already installed the VMware Workstation Pro on your computer. If you don't have it and install it on your computer, you can watch the video on the iCard and watching that video, download and install the VMware Workstation on your computer. Then after that, open up your browser and navigate to Kali.org, this website. This is the Kali official website. Now from here, click on download. Then click on virtual machines. Then download the pre-built virtual machine for VMware workstation. You can click on this icon to start downloading. I had already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again. Then after that, take another tab and search on Google 7-zip. Then go to this first website 7-zip.org. Then from here, download the exe file of the 7-zip installer and install it on your computer. Now, if I open my downloads folder, here you can see here I have the VMware Workstation Pro installer which I had already installed on my computer and here you can see the Kindness virtual machine image. Now first of all what you need to do you have to right click on it then go to show more option and using the 7-zip application extract the Kindness virtual machine. It's gonna take a while so you have to wait until the extraction get completed. Okay now here I have got a Kindness virtual machine file. Open up that folder then again and here you will get all of these files. Now click on start and search for VMware and open it on your computer. Now click on open a virtual machine. Navigate to your downloads folder where you keep your kindness files and select this dot VMX files and click on open. And guys here you can see the kindness virtual machine now has been imported into our VMware Workstation Pro. Now if you want to increase the RAM Click here and increase your RAM according to your need. Also, I'm going to change the network adapter from NAT to Bridge. Here you can see the default username and password is Kali. Now, to power on this Kali Linux virtual machine, click on this power on this virtual machine. And guys, if you get this type of pop up like your virtualization is disabled, then you have to enable it from your BIOS. If you are using Intel processor, it will be called Intel VTX virtualization. And if you use MD processor, then it will call MDV or SVM. Now let's enable this virtualization technology from our BIOS. So click on OK. Close your VMware Workstation Pro and restart your computer. Now guys, here you can see I am into my BIOS. Now from your BIOS, you have to find out the Intel virtualization technology if you use CPU of Intel and if you use AMD processor, then you have to find for SVM. I am using AMD processor, so I have to find the SVM and now I have to enable it. Then save and exit and restart your computer again. Okay, so guys, now my computer has been restarted. Now again, click on start and search for VMware Workstation Pro and open it. Then select your Kylinux machine and click on power on this virtual machine. And now it should start the Kylinux virtual machine into your VMware Workstation Pro. Here you can see it boots up. Now the default credentials of your Kylinux machine is Kali and password is also Kali. Then click on login. So guys here you can see now we have running the Kylinux virtual machine into our Windows 11 computer using the VMware Workstation. Now to make it full screen, click on this icon and the Kylinux virtual machine will get full screen on your computer. So guys like this, you can easily run Kylinux virtual machine as a VM into your Windows 11 computer using the VMware Russian Pro. So guys, that's all for today. Thanks for your watching.